everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do the random readings for May 19th. Uh, thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. Thank you so much. You guys rock. And still looking for artwork. And if anyone's interested in Donna's creations, all the information will be in the below. Going to give a special happy birthday out there to my daughter, Sabrina, who is a wonderful 19 on the 19th. Love you, beans. So, let's see what that cards have to say today. Swords. And this is somebody who's trapped in their mind by negative thoughts. It's an imposed prison, though. They're only thoughts. You change one of those swords upside down into a positive, the rest are going to fall. So, significator in this reading is the Six of Cups, the nostalgia card, the thinking fondly of the past. Whether that be from childhood, relationships, friendships. You remember them because they are good memories. Now what's crossing to help or hinder. We have the Knight of Cups. Cups being the water suit. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But more so a messenger of something that's heartfelt, that's sentimental. Hmm. Maybe somebody wants to reach out to somebody from the past. Or somebody from the past reaching out to you. Hmm. Now, in your foundation we have temperance. Temperance is depicted as a Sagittarius. But more so, it's balance. Tempering two things, whether that's your head, over your heart, your hopes and your fears... It's somebody who is very in control of both, to stay even keel. Now what's crowning the whole reading is a nine of swords. Going from an eight to a nine, you're not letting it go. This is agony. This is about going from that self-imposed prison to Thinking about so much you can't even sleep. Maybe this is something that happened in the past. That you're not letting go of. And you really need to get a grip on yourself. Pull yourself back into reality. This Going on with this brings you negativity. Positive brings you positive. I almost feel like somebody's kicking their own ass here. Maybe there was something that you should have done. Maybe there's something that you should have said or vice versa. Maybe that's why you can't let go of it. Hmm. Now, in your recent past, you have one of my favorite cards, the High Priestess. And this is somebody who's guided by their intuition. That's why she's arced like the moon. Because it pulls her. She trusts it, though. That's why she lets it guide her. This is a person of many secrets. It's also a person who knows a lot more than what she says. Never underestimate the High Priestess. Now going into the future, we have the Queen of Wands. And this is a fire suit. Your Aries, your Leos, your Sagittarius. Somebody who's very passionate. Somebody who's very creative. Somebody um, 
very sassy and sexy and very charismatic. They're the go-getters, though. They start something, they see it all the way to the finish. They're the people like, who lit that fire under their ass? Fire signs. Now, going in to how people see you. You get the five of wands. This could be inner conflict. Rumors. Babble. Not everybody's on the same page. Gossip. So, if people are looking at you like this, either they see you as a conflicted person, and I can see why, or they're looking at you like you're the shit talker. Like you're the one, one spreading shit around from people. And you know, words hurt. Sometimes you can't take them back. Especially if you're spreading lies about other people. You get people hating someone when they don't even know that person. Or vice versa. This could have happened to you. And you're trying to stay balanced with it all. But the more you hear crap, the more it bothers you. Now it seems to me that this war is between two people. What I'm feeling is that maybe in the past you were great friends. Best friends possibly. And somebody ran their mouth and then it ran amok. For whatever reason. The falling out could have worked with somebody here and now it's the war. Fields and McLean's. You got the eight and the nine of swords. This could be an eight going to one person and a nine going to another if this is a personal feud between somebody. <clears throat> but I do believe that in the past there was a great relationship, whether that was a love relationship, a friendship, or a business partnership that there was a closeness, there's a fond memory of how things were. And now, shit's out of control. Hmm. Because in your environment, you get the Queen of Swords. You get an air element here. And this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got both of them. And they're both a force to be reckoned with in one shape or form. Especially when they're in their element. She's got that ball of truth at the end of her sword. It seems like she's trying to cut through all the bullshit that was said, possibly by her. Because this person knows how to get people's attention and hold their attention. Could be vice versa. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, you have strength. And this could be depicted as a Leo, but more so having the strength and the courage and grace to get through whatever you need to get through. You can walk into any room and be the stronger person. Why? Because strength is tempering your emotions. 
keeping them in check, keeping them in balance, that's real strength. That's power. And looking good while you do it. Walk in that room and everybody else knows that you are the stronger person. And having grace doing so. Self-control does take strength. Ooh, especially when you want to come up with that truth. It's at the tip of your tongue. No. Oh, I'll save it for another day where it really hurts. Just saying. The outcome of this reading is the Ace of Wands. Now, Aces being brand new, brand new. Wands being of an action or a creative project and endeavor. This is the universe's way of giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. Maybe this calls for you to be the stronger person. Something you didn't do before. Take that action. Approach them. Apologize. Or go into the other person. End this. For yourself. For somebody else. Because when it all comes down to it, it was just rumors, no truth behind it, no matter, no matter where it came from. This person or that person. Set the record straight. Take that course of action. And free yourself out of your head, knowing that you did the right thing. And you had the strength to do so. So that is what I have for you today. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I will see everyone back here real soon. Take care.